Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today it is the first video in a very new series that I have started which is called the Saturday series and the idea behind this series is there is no plan, no blue script, I am just picking up a set and rolling with it and we're going to knock out two to three cards sort of half hour long and just see where we go and have some fun. The cards could work or they could end in a disaster. Just see where we go. And every Saturday I'm gonna start doing this on my channel. And today I'm starting off with the Blossoms in Bloom Photopolymer stamp set and the fantastic dies that go along with this bundle and put together three cards, no plan. So uh, let's see where we go. As ever, if you like the products that's featured in this video, they are available to purchase from my store, slimandstylish.com. You go up to the header and click on buy, and you can add any of these items into your cart. And if you do like this as a bundle, you get 10% off if you buy the stamps and dies together in the new annual catalog. So let's get started. So the reason behind starting these videos was my views have been going down a bit recently but I looked at some of my videos that were popular and when I've done more than one or two cards in a session and I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just crafting for fun, the views seem to be a little bit better and people seem to give me more sort of feedback and interaction so I thought let's start doing that on a more regular basis. So for the first card I'm just going to use the stamp set. And while I'm really tempted to play with a great big flower, I'm actually going to go for all the little bits because when you get a stamp set, I always find you go for the big one and you ignore the little ones. So let's have a go with that. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I've actually got a whole box. Check it out. <laughs> so this box was in the catalogue a few years ago. It's no longer current. I keep all my cardstock in it and I've got them at all different sizes and I've picked this one, which is the bigger one. 10.2 uh, centimetres by 14.5 so I've just grabbed one of those and I'm going to get all of these little pieces out so I've got my blocks um, I only have four of each size block now because I've uh, been strict with myself I have a big box that I've popped up in the loft which is my workshop box so when I was doing workshops and face-to-face -face coffee and cards and things like that, um, everyone had their own different bits and pieces to use. Due to the COVID situation, that sort of hasn't been happening recently. So um, I've popped all of my other blocks in that box and popped them up in the loft, purely because I am really naughty, really naughty. <laughs> If I have more blocks, I will keep popping stamps on blocks and stop colouring, uh, stop, stop, uh, what's the word, um, using my chamois to clean them, that's it, and just keep going. And then at the end of the day, I'd have like a hundred blocks with a hundred stamps on, I would never know where they're from. So I've popped all of those on and I'm going to just grab a punch. I'm going to do some masking. So circle punch, yeah, two and a quarter inch punch. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I've changed it. I'm going to use the new um, postage stamp punch. So this is also in the new annual catalogue. And I quite like the detail on this. So I'm going to use that. Grab some post-it notes. I always love post-it notes for my mask and I find them quite, quite easy and quite inexpensive. So I'm just going to pop that in. This is my adhesive sign and I want the majority of my punch to be on the adhesive so I'm going to use the long end in and do, 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 let's just go on do that I'm just going to stick that to the back of my desk because there's quite a lot more there that's sticky and you never know might be doing some more masking as we go along so I'm going to pop that in the middle Check it straight. Is that straight? Is that in the middle? I'm not sure. I think it just needs to come over this way just a little bit. This is what is also great about post-it notes. You can pick them up, put them down and play with them as much as you like. There we go. That's kind of straight. Right, colours. Highland Heather for the big flower. 
gorgeous grape for the slightly medium flower and we've got these two little flowers over here so let's go with blackberry bliss there we go for the leaves I've got three leaf stamps so for the big one I'm going to use soft sea foam and for the little tiddly ones I'm going to use granny apple green and then for the centre of the flower I've got those really the wrong way around haven't I not much difference but still the centre of the flower I'm going to use so saffron because I love so saffron and for this bit now I think this bit really should be the um center of here but I'm going to use it as a spray so I'm going to do it in smoky slate so let's get started and I'm going to play with the bigger flowers and the big leaf first because the seaside foam you'll be able to go over the top of um, quite easily and if you are using stamps like this and you're just going to create a random spray it's better to start with the bigger ones because the little ones will always slot in afterwards, I have found. So I'm just going to stamp that off there. Gorgeous grape, Highland Heather. I'm kind of just going to go round the card in a wreath with these. Random angles, nothing sort of too complicated really. Yeah, I like that. So that one over there was gorgeous grape, so I'm going to drop a gorgeous grape one over this side. And a Highland Heather here. So this is actually a distinctive set, distinctive stamp set, which means that you only have to ink it up and damp it down and it will create this wonderful textured look on the stamp as well really simple really easy um, I'm going to do another Highland Heather one because I like Highland Heather I'm going to pop that there and then fill the gaps in with the leaves mm, yeah that's enough so pop the lids on those before I pop my fingers, arms, elbows in them. So saffron just to do the middle of the flowers. I quite like doing these sort of um, masked centres and dropping the flowers around the side. They're always quite fun. So there's that bit. Okay, granny apple green next with the leaves. So there's one that's slightly bigger. And I'm not going to put too many of these because granny apple green is quite a bright colour and I don't really want it to uh, jump out of the card and be sort of too bright. And then you've got the little leaf. And I prefer the little leaf actually. I think it's quite a nice shape. couple of those on sort of like that and then I've got blackberry bliss and I've got the two little flowers with blackberry bliss so I'm just going to do a random random round with the one and then a random round with the other one. I'm not quite sure about the... Oh! No! Let's just cover that up a little bit. Shh! We didn't see that. <laughs> there we go. And finally, the spray which we were doing with Smoky Slate. So yeah, what I was going to say is I'm not quite sure on the differences of the two little flowers, but um, there obviously is a difference, otherwise they wouldn't give me two, so I'm uh, using both. There we 
go. Whip that off. And that's quite cute. I like that. So the stamp I'm going to use, what you can always do with these means they're photopolymer is grab them out and you can actually layer them over the top. So I can see the happy birthday is going to be too big in there. So is get well soon and I like you a lot is definitely going to be too big. But these two line ones sure do miss you and thinking of you is going to fit. Thank you will fit and hello will fit and I'm going to nick hello because um, I'm currently in catalogue posting mode at the moment and I'm posting out all my mini catalogues so that's the ones that cover Christmas, Halloween, Harvest, those sort of ones and I like to send hello cards to everybody when I send them out. If you want a catalogue just drop me an email slimandstylish at live.co.uk Tell me your address and I'll pop one in the post to you. You might even get this card in it, you never know. So I'm just going to fold over a piece. This is thick whisper white cardstock. I've cut it in half and I've already scored it. I'm just going to fold it and burnish it. And I've got Blackberry Bliss all over my hands. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to pop that on there and I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. So let's scatter these across. I put more dimensionals on the card. If it's thin whisper white, just going straight onto the back. If it's thin whisper white that then gets stuck to card and then the card gets popped up, I just pop a couple of dimensionals because that card's a bit thicker. But I don't want this getting squished in the post. So I just pop a couple more on. So there's card number one. I like that. In fact, I like that so much. I'm going to use that as my inspiration for card number two. So if I get the same size card and my post it notes again, and this time I'm going to go diagonally. So I've got two post it notes there and my snips, and I'm just going to cut those into strips. These two bits can just get thrown, there's no adhesive on there, they're just, just rubbish. But this bit here, that can actually be used. So I'm going to pop it like that onto my card. So I want it at more of an angle. And you want to make sure that this bit here, the bit that's not sticky, is um, off the card on both sides. You've got a straight run on this side. And then you're going to want to do exactly the same on this bit. Run that over. Make sure it goes from end to end and that this bit is a full long strip as well. Right, so I'm going to use the same colours actually, they're all out. Um, I started with Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape and Soft Sea Frame, so I'm going to do the same again. This is my laziness by the way for cleaning my stamps. I'm going to use the same colours and just go wild with them again. So Gorgeous Grape. And instead of staying just around the mass this time, I'm going to go over the whole card. So, Highland Heather. And I'm going to use this soft sea foam bit quite a bit because you can go over the top of it with it being soft sea foam. It's light coloured, so you can just build it up. Try and get it going in different angles. You don't want it to look like it's uh, it's pre-planned. Uh, that's the gorgeous grape one. Highland Heather. Just 
just keep going. I like these cards that you can just build and layer up. Just scrape. And just a couple more. All right. Let's put my lids on those. I can come back and keep stamping if I want, but I'm just going to play with my other stamps first and see where any gaps appear. So if I start off with So Saffron, because that's quite easy, I know where that's going. That's just going in the centre of each flower. Make it pop. So yeah, the reason for changing my Saturday videos, um, I did a product medley probably about two or three weeks ago where I opened the medley and then just created four random cards not knowing what I was doing, where I was going or anything else and just had some fun really and I got a load more comments on that video, um, a lot more likes and views and things and people seemed to comment and say how they'd enjoyed it so I thought that's what I would probably do going forward and see if See if people still enjoy them. And just have some fun, really. So you'll have to let me know if you prefer this, this format of video as opposed to how I was doing them. And then I know where to go in future. There's no point me um, making videos no one wants to see, so... sort of put more of the little leaf on because I do like this little leaf Smoky Slate. One, two. So this I feel is a bit more of a madder card. <laughs> so I've kind of just decorated everywhere, don't you think? So I'm going to keep Blackberry Bliss out because I've still got my sentiment to put on. than the previous one but I still quite like it actually so ribbon I'm thinking ribbon got my metallic edged ribbon yeah I'm gonna run it up there so I'm just gonna cut two lots off one two glue on the end it makes it much easier to stick this ribbon if you put the glue on the ends and then make sure it's especially means it's not going straight means it's going on a diagonal you can then line it up where you want it fold it over and stick it yourself um, and you can do it all from the front rather than guesstimating with the glue on the back so that makes it quite a lot easier to do that. I'm going to do the same on the top bit. Run that along. Put 
There we go. And I'm going to stick with the hello. You could put one of the longer sentiments along here. Want it in black for bliss? I don't know whether I do actually. I'm going to go with Granny Apple Green because there's more Granny Apple Green on this card. So I'm just going to wipe that on my chamois. Make sure that's straight. There we go. I quite like that. What do you think? So let's uh, go again. I'm going to pop that flat because I feel like there's already a lot going on with the ribbons and all the colours and things like that. So. That was a domino effect that you've just heard. I've got a metal case at the side of my desk which has got my seals in and it's got all the rest of my blocks in. And I've just put the seal in and all the blocks have just fell over. So there are those two. So I'm going to try something now. I want to use the, the dies because the dies are absolutely to die for. They're gorgeous. Excuse the pun. So you have this one here which is a layer die and goes over the top and this one which goes underneath and that one is quite a lot thinner so you can see the colour through and I'm actually um, doing a half of a case here because I saw something that I loved and I want to try it but I'm also just changing it slightly and I'm actually casing my mum so my mum's a really good um, stamper I wish she had like a YouTube thing but yeah she she loves stamping up as well um, and she did one that had the background on in black and one that had this in a really bright colour underneath. Like, for instance, Granny Apple Green. And she had laid them on top of each other and they really popped. So I'm going to do that first of all. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to change it because I saw it and thought, do you know what, Mom, that's really good. But I actually would have a little bit of an amendment on it so let's let's get die cutting this out first hint when you're die cutting this and you create your sandwich you want to put your plate on top put your die on put your card on it doesn't matter this is hanging over it it really doesn't matter at all um and then you want before you put this plate on pop a couple of sheets of paper on top if you've got a shim, a shim will work fine as well. Um, I don't have one, but a couple of pieces of paper works fine for me because it is a really, really fiddly die. And this will just really give it a little bit more of an incentive. You know, it cuts better. And instead of running it through once or twice, I'm actually going to run it through three times. So I know you can't see, but... That's once. Twice. Three times. You just want to really make sure that it's cut through because it is so fiddly and these little bits here in the centres are pains to get out. So you just really want to make sure that you've you've cut this well. And if you have um, your little pokey tool, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but yeah, if you have your little pokey tool um, that you normally lose for like your glue, paper piercer, paper piercer, that's a name. <laughs> For your glue dots and things like that, if you use that, you can pop all of these through quite easier than using your fingers. So I'm doing this over my Big Shot plate, then I can just pick my Big Shot plate up and put it over the bin and hopefully catch all these little bits. Otherwise they're going to be a nightmare to, to clear up. My craft floor. Well... 
I actually craft in the corner of my bedroom. So um, all in my bedroom is, is obviously neat and tidy as it should be. Uh, but I find that the, the carpet over that side is lovely and um, clean and looks right. And the carpet over this side is full of dimensional backs and little pieces of paper. <laughs> And no matter how many times you put the back over it, you know, it, they still just appear, don't they? Um, right, so that's the black bit. Okay, I'm now going to do exactly the same and run the granny apple green bit through. Um, I'm going to also put the pieces of paper on top of that just gives it some extra sort of thickness to it and makes it just go through a lot easier I moved that so let's just check it's still in line there we go so I'm just going to run that through this one's not as fiddly so you can probably just do this twice you don't have to worry about going through sort of three times And the reason why I always use my Big Shot off screen is because the handle when you crank it actually catches my camera when I film. I don't want to send you all seasick, so uh, that's the reason for that. Right, so what my mum had done, she does she come up with some, some really clever ideas. Um, Is she had popped I'm just gonna pop that in the bin before that goes everywhere as well so she had popped black back in over this and then put it on a black card so I've got some black cards somewhere because I was hoping to case this one on the on the video and she had it like that, so it just really popped and looked amazing. But I thought to myself, if I use Magenta Madness and do the exact same thing as I've just done with the green. I like Magenta Madness, it just pops, doesn't it? It just pops. So, um, sort of like that. A couple of times through the big shot. It's only an extra step, really. So, just running it through a second time. I'm going to need your scissors for this bit because it's a slight bit of fussy cutting, not much, just a slight bit. Watch me do that. <laughs> I put it through with the wrong die. Oh, I'm just so daft. Okay, that wasn't what I was going to do. Let's move all this to the side. Let's grab some more magenta madness. I wanted this die, the thick die, not the thin die. When I said at the start that these Saturday series could go either right or wrong and we didn't know, that's my little my little blooper Ooh. okay that's my second little blooper I've got my tower of stamping blends sitting behind my big shot and I've just caught it and all of my stamping blends have just gone <laughs> so that's my uh, my second one Right, so now we've got the thick one, or we should have the thick one, there we go. I'm 
Right, let's get all of these little bits out. I'm having one of those days today. Like I did a film earlier that would just be one of my normal sort of channel films and um after me telling you to empty this into the bin by the way i've just created the most almighty mess um and i was really proud of the card it was a gorgeous card and it was probably about a 20 minute video to do the card but i did like it and it was using the um all things fabulous set which is gorgeous by the way and uh after finishing it and taking a picture of it and going to go and edit it then so I could put it onto YouTube, I realised that I actually hadn't pressed the record button on my camera. So I had made it all and spoke to nobody and didn't film it. <laughs> it was not probably one of my greatest highlights. So this is why you want to run it through a couple of times because it is a little fight trying to get some of these out. Um, this one, for instance, is pretty stuck in there. And this one up here is, is very much stuck in. But I'm just going to use my paper piercer to finish that off. If I'd have gone through that other time, that probably wouldn't have happened. But there we go. So, back on track. <laughs> Right, so what I thought was, is we can now stick this on here so I get pink flowers and chop off all the leaves and have green leaves. So when I was looking at my mum's on her um, display unit, I was like, oh, we could do that. Um, I haven't tried it, so I'm hoping it does look effective. But if not, we can just just stick with having the one layer, but... I thought if we just kind of got the flowers, we'll soon see. And there's a flower, a uh, leaf too. So now we should have pink flowers and green leaves, hopefully. Because I can just layer that onto there. There we go. That's going to work quite nicely. So some Tombow. Now it's really easy to stick this layer. This layer is a simple layer to stick. The other layer, that thin wispy black one, not as simple people, not as simple. Right, so I'm just gonna stick that on first. Yeah, I quite like that. I think it's going to work quite nicely. And then pop that onto there and pop that onto there. Yeah. Tell you what, it's worth making a slight little bit of a mess up, isn't it? So for this bit, I've still got one of those little, little bits in, right? For this bit, you're probably going to want to use your fine tip glue pen. because Tombow is going to be too thick and you want to go to where the thicker pieces of card are and just run it through. If, by the way, you have adhesive sheets, this would be really good to have stuck an adhesive sheet on here. And I'm saying this because I do have adhesive sheets and I never thought about it. <laughs> and I've just thought, you know what would work? Adhesive sheets, which you've got your daft thing. So I'm just... I'm not doing all the lines, but I'm just doing ones that are going to make it all stick. 
quite nicely. Okay, hopefully that's pretty much enough glue. Let's line that up. Stick it down. Okay, and I find it easier to turn it upside down and push it. And if you've got one of your pieces of paper from earlier, just use that and then you're not going to get the glue on your hands. There we go. Ta da! So, pop my lid back on my fine tip glue pen. And I find the quicker you do that, the better it is because that has a habit of drying really quick and then it is a pain in the bum to get the lid back on, I can tell you. So, brownie apple green. I've got a tiny little bit I haven't, so I'm just going to chop a tiny bit off here. Not much, just a strip. And I'm going to use the Hello again. And because it's going on to black card, I'm just going to use my Memento. I haven't got enough ink colours going on on my desk at the moment. <laughs> so stamp that down. Hello. Um, I'm sure you've seen me do this quite a few times before where I've just created the sentiment into a little tag. Dimensionals to pop that up and I've got to stick that onto my black piece as well. So before I get started, I've got my thick piece of Whisper White. Same thing, cut in half, scored in half and I'm just going to burnish it. Okay, I'm going to stick my basic black base on. So this was also um, 10.2 centimetres by 14.5, so it was like the Whisper White I was using earlier. Then I'm going to stick my flowers on. Yeah, that's really going to pop. I'm loving this card. So I've done two really pastel light cards. Um, and then I've gone like off the chart with bright colours <laughs> on a black card. Variety and different people like different cards, don't they? So it's always good to have. I find like at a craft fair and stuff, you have to have some of the cards that are like my personal preference, um, and then some that are totally different because people people don't often think the same as you, have different tastes. But personally, I like all three of these, so <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just going to lay that up on my card. And actually, by having three layers, that looks kind of 3D anyway, before I even add the dimensional bit on. So there we go. One, two, three cards, all made with the gorgeous Bloom by Bloom, uh, Blooms in Bloom stamp set which is this one, available from my store, slimandstylish.com. Go up to the header, click buy, and you can add this and the dies into a bundle and get 10% off. If you need anything else, just give me a shout, slimandstylish at live.co.uk. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments below. And if you've liked this series, do join me again next Saturday for another one, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.